You seen Daddy yet this morning? Hey, he gonna come in pretty hot. A uh, damn power company come through and cut down three of his catawba trees last night. Oh, they're gonna make the old man blow a gas. Yeah, they cut them off right at the trunk, just left them there dead. And, yeah, oh, he's gonna... Have you seen him? I drove by this morning, he was just out there standing looking at him. Madder than I ever seen him in my life. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to go a little easy on him today, okay? You kid been by my house? Oh, Daddy, we done heard. Here, Wayne drove by and seen him. Yeah, it ain't right. Bunch of dirty, rotten, no good sons of bitches. Boy, they did that to me one time. I don't trust them boogers. I had the gas company come in there and ruin half my drainage ditch. Yeah, I think this holds water and mosquitoes now. Well, I done fought and bled for this country. This is how I get treated by my government. Well, I don't think it was the government, Daddy. I knew they was gonna get to me somehow. No, I'm pretty sure it was the power company. I seen their truck. Can't believe they come through like a thief in the night. I tell you what, whoo! Next time they come to my house, all they gonna find is a 243 and a butt whooping. I guarantee you that. Boy, I'm like to take a hammer handle with one of them. I, I'm not sure that's gonna be helpful. <laughs> you tell him, Daddy. I'm not sure you're being helpful. Boy, them good top trees. Boy, I get wormed every year off of them. I know how much them trees meant to you, Daddy. I, I know I know you like them catawba. I mean, we all do. That's the best part of the summer is that catawba worm season. Oh, you can't beat that catawba worm. It's the best bait in the world. I still got a batch frozen that we captured back there in July. You still got some? Well, you ca I catch three catfish for one worm every time. There he goes. <laughs> Ooh, Daddy, I think that one might be a tall tail. I don't know about catching three fish on the same worm. Well, I ain't telling you no tails. I put a little piece of that worm on each part of that treble hook. Tell me I ain't gonna pull up three 12 inch catfish. I guarantee you I will. I, I'm not doubting you. Well, I'll tell you what we ought to do. We ought to hook my boat up and head on down the lake. All right, let's just use the rest of them worms for what I got. Well, I tell you what, running out of the lake a day like day don't seem like a bad idea. You get that starter changed on it? Mm-hmm. Thing running like a sewing machine. Yep, tags is up to date. Won't have to worry about no lake patrol. All right, thank you. Take your mind off of it, Daddy. Worried about you. You, you don't need to be getting all worked up like this. Are you asleep? Wake up, Daddy. Oh, I ain't asleep. No, I'm just close my eyes for a minute. What'd you say we go down the lake, catch some catfish? We'll fry up some catfish in the morning. Boy, it might, might be what I need. <laughs> I call this my catfish graveyard. I ain't gonna turn down no fried catfish. Boy, that graveyard bigger than Arlington Cemetery. Well, that may be so, but I ain't never burnt no drop of oil. You wanna start me too? I'm just fooling, Dad. I'd take it easy this time. Last time we had all that catfish, boy, I felt like I was stuck in that bathroom for about three days. Well, Sonny, you can't eat like an elephant, poop like a hummingbird. That ain't how it works. Well, yeah, I reckon I'll get on down to that lake, y'all. A little fish in my belly and tug on my line might make me feel better.